Welcome everyone. Today's room tour finds us in Long Island, New York at the Long Island Marriott in Uniondale. I'm in room 954. Let's go inside and take a look. So as we walk in the room, one of the first things you see is this is a room with two queen-size beds, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. If you turn directly to the left, you see an average size bathroom. There's a little bit of counter space on the right, probably three feet of counter space there. We have real glasses, I do like that. And our products include shower gel, body lotion, what is this? I don't know what the, oh, that's a conditioner and a shampoo there, okay. And bar soap, which I do like. And of course, a large well-lit mirror with lighting from above. As we look on the other side, we see it's a tub style shower. There is a small corner dish in here in which you can put soap, shampoo, that type of thing. But you could also set things around the edge of the tub. Not a lot of room there, but there is a little bit. And a pretty standard shower head. And of course, the shower curtain rod that does bow out a little bit, which I always like because it gives you a little extra space in the shower. There is a hook on the door if you want to hang the towel because if you use the towel that's in the shower, it'll probably get soaking wet. So it's nice to have that towel hook so you can grab a towel when you get out of the shower. Directly across the way, you'll find the closet. And it's a pretty wide closet, a lot of room in there. We've got about 10 hangers, a luggage rack, an ironing board and an iron. And on the door, there is a large mirror. So you could open that up and you have a full-size mirror. Kind of narrow, but it is a full-size mirror. And moving into the room, as I said, it is a double queen-size bed they look like. Maybe they're not quite queen-size but they're good sized beds. One bed stand in between and there are two outlets there. So if you need to plug anything in like phone chargers, there's not USB ports, but there are outlets. And then we have two reading lamps. You see there is a door to the joining room if you wanna make this a suite. And then right here, we have a cabinet, and it says that coffee, tea, and refrigerator are inside. And sure enough, that's what we find, a dorm size refrigerator. It's a rather small one. We have an ice bucket, a couple more glasses. And here we have our coffee, our tea, single cup coffee maker. And we do have two drawers here. Not really big. But in addition to those drawers, we do have two smaller drawers. Once again, they're not very big. And those two drawers are in between the beds in the nightstand. And moving away from that cabinet, you see there is a writing desk area with a swivel chair. And we have this control center with four plugs. You can see my phone's already plugged in. And a lot of other things, I assume this all goes to the TV. So we have an HDMI, you can plug your computer in, S-Video, which nobody uses anymore. And if you have uh, these types of inputs, that will work as well. And I assume that goes to the auxiliary of the TV. We won't know because I don't have cables with me. There are two phones, one here, and one over there on the nightstand. In the corner we have an upholstered chair, a small table, and another lamp. 
and I also see that we have smaller reading lamps in the outside corners of the bed. And I suspect it'll be very dark in this room at night. Time will tell, but all they have are the lamps that are between the bed, one standing floor lamp, and one desk lamp. I don't know if that's going to be enough to light up this entire room. And as always, we want the big reveal, what's outside my window? And as we pull the shades aside, I am on the ninth floor. So we have a good long view. There's the Coliseum here. I know they have sporting events, hockey games, concerts, that type of thing. But other than that, man, you can go forever and ever and ever. And I will say I didn't see a lot of restaurants in the vicinity. The hotel does have a restaurant. There was um, well, things like Chipotle, Five Guys, McDonald's in the area. None of them within walking distance. I took an Uber from the airport from LaGuardia. Um, that took me about 40 minutes, cost $80 for the tip. Give an idea if you don't have a vehicle to rent. And uh, so if I'm gonna go anywhere, it's either walk or take something like Uber and there doesn't seem to be a lot of places to go, so I might be stuck in the hotel for a few days. One more thing I wanna add about this room. I can hear the people in the next room like they're standing here, so I assume they can hear me as well. So well, that's it, room 954 at the Marriott, Long Island. As always, I encourage you to like and share the videos. Leave your comments down below. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe by clicking my face down there in the corner and ring that bell icon so you know when I post new videos. Thanks for watching everyone. I'm Mark from the Average Me channel.